And welcome to What's For Dinner, where we cook up quick, healthy, wonderful meals every single day. And you know what? Believe it or not, we do it in about half an hour. I'm Ken Costick. And, and I'm Mary Jo Eustace. Peggy and Lipton. We, from the Mod Squad. You're my link. Or who's the <laughs> other guy? You're part of my posse. Something's happening here that's going to be very exciting. You look like exciting. Peggy Lipton today. Thank you. That's a lot of men's fantasy, uh, Peggy Lipton. Really? Really. You might not know about that. No, though. no. Now, we're, we're having an absolutely wonderful day today here on What's for Dinner. We're working with tofu and we're working with apples. So that's, that's right. going to be a bit exciting. Vegetarian day. Totally. It's going to keep you on the edge of your seat. Oh, riveted. Yeah. And if you want to pick up that pen, I'm going to give you the ingredients to this absolutely righteous, right on dish. Lots of ingredients. Oh, yeah. Sit down for this one. You require two cloves of garlic minced, one teaspoon of dried basil, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of dried tarragon, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, two apples, half a cup of apple juice, oh dear, half a cup of apple concentrate, <coughs> One teaspoon of olive oil, half a cup of white wine, oh boy. one pound firm tofu cube. Make sure it's firm. It's firm. One sweet red or green pepper cut into chunks, one medium zucchini sliced. Oh, geez, where am I? One cup sliced assorted mushrooms, four apples cored and chopped. Oh, my gosh. And one medium red onion cut into chunky bits. Wow. Oh, that sounds absolutely now, delicious. Now, we don't want to scare the viewers. It's just a lot of chopping of the ingredients. Oh, I thought That's you were going to say it's a new wig today, so not to alarm what, anybody. Yours? No, yours. You know what? I think it's moving. It's sitting. It's not moving. No, it's certainly not moving. You know what? It was moving yesterday. It looks so good today. I don't know what you did. But you look really good. Now, what are you making? New glue. Oh, is that what yes. it is? Yes. You know what I'm making? No. I'm making a white bean soup. Really? Yes, with some leftover ingredients that I had. And I'm going to add some chickpeas. A white and I'm going to bean add some onion. Soup. A white bean soup. <laughs> no wonder you get the big bucks. You're at the height of your career. You've got chickpeas and favas, and you're going for the white bean soup. Hey. Excellent. Is that what I'm doing? I don't think that's what you're doing. You're doing a soup. You've got the ingredients, so we're just going to work with it. Honey, come here. I'm going to hold you tight because I'm, I, even I'm concerned. And, oh, you're, oh. you're liking it. Over there, look at that sort of little guacatini salad. So you know what? Can I make a suggestion? I am doing a white bean yeah. soup today. Okay, but you're okay. doing that as well. Yes, some tomatoes and guacatini cheese. Brochette apple thing oh, I'm doing. Oh You're not trouble the... again. Am I off the show again? Look, look at this. Uh, what? What? You, what? You, you what? Do not be throwing this book around. What? Ken Caustic's Island. Ken Caustic's cookbook. Island cookbook. What? Ever. Okay, I've got my garlic here, and that's yep. bringing the pureeer. -er, and Ken's going to do yeah his white bean soup. Whatever he's doing with beans, and I'm adding my dried herbs and my cinnamon and my apples and my apple juice and my apple concentrate and then I'm going to marinate the tofu and the vegetables in that mixture. So that's going to be, I think, pretty good, don't you? I'd go for it. You'd go for it. So we're just going to cube up our apples and I'm not even going to peel the skin because the skin of a fruit has got a lot of nutritional value in it. And roughage. Oh yeah, and roughage is very good. And you know what? In this recipe, if you wanted to replace cinnamon, you could replace it with nutmeg. 
Excellent. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Totally. But you know what I would do? No. I would use less nutmeg because it's a lot stronger than cinnamon. Yes, nutmeg is a very overpowering spice as Pungent. well as uh, as well as uh, allspice. Did you That's hear right. that tip? That was I pretty did. good too, don't you I think? Did. So you think I look like that chick from the Mod Squad? That chick? That that girl from the Mod Squad? Now I gotta I gotta say something. Uh. If I had used the term chick, right. we would have gotten in tons of letters. But Why? you used it. You said it first. I think chick and broad are terms of endearment. <gasps> what did, I think they're terms of endearment. If you said to me that I was a right on broad, I'd be very complimented. You always say that to me. I always say that to you, and you don't seem to mind one bit. Do you? No, I don't. I know. <laughs> no, I don't. You got a bit haughty there, didn't you? So I'm just cubing up my apples, and this is going to go You know what? I just might go for it. Go for what? Go for it. For this? No. Go your, for what? Your tip. The oh. next time I'm making an, a soup with Gosh. fruit in it, leave the skins on. I just might go for it. You totally toy with my feelings. <laughs> I did. You, no, you do. You just lead me down that garden <coughs> path. Excuse me. And you lead me there. Here's my apple juice and my apple juice. Leave concentrate. you hanging. You do. But yeah. I, you know, don't mind so much. And what I'm going to do, oh, okay, this is a good tip. I've got a tip coming. Ooh. Oh, if you wanted to, um, Save your apples from browning, honey. What? If you want to save your apples from browning or any type of fruit, use lemon juice or grapefruit juice. Lay me five on that tip. I've only given it 56 times on the show. Yeah, give but me it's, another. you want another one? Yeah. Now, uh, what? Is this a joke or? <laughs> I mean, it's a small budget show, sweetie. Work with it. It's half a red. <laughs> Work with it. Oh boy. Okay, now here I guess I that's all we had left in our fridge. I guess. Hey. Okay. So I'm just um, doing my mixture for the marinade. And then we'll marinate our ingredients. So this is going to be very healthy and very low fat. Now I'm making a bit of an executive decision because I don't think I have enough liquid. So I'm going to saunter back to my fridge and see what I have in it and probably add a bit of fruit juice. Okay. You're going to saunter back to the I'm fridge. I'm sauntering. Okay, I've got some delicious uh, apple juice. So I'm going to... Oh. What? Oh, got it. I'm going to put it in. So we have a nice marinade for our ingredients for our... Brochettes. Oh dear. There we go. Oh. Oh. I have another tip. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, okay, no, here I got it. I have another tip. Go. You should not be wearing checks. There what? I said it on what national did I television. What did I ever do to you? You <laughs> diminutive little evil man you. I never did anything to except love you to the best of my ability. Excuse Don't choke, me. Ken. I'd hate to see that action. That would be No, awful. but, you know, you're always talking about my wig and my clothes and everything. And your plastic so, surgery. Excuse me? My what? Your, pl your plastic surgery. I'm going to wash my hands because <laughs> I coughed. Yeah, could you? And then get your beans in. Okay, Why look at do this that? delicious marinade that I've, um, I've prepared. Yes. And um, I'm going to put that in a, in a pan, and we're going to marinate our vegetables. Now, I'd like to find out from the viewers, and they should write in, on whether Mary Jo should be wearing floral prints or not. Well, okay, look. Oh, I got a trivia question for you. What do these three songs have in common? And if you don't get this, you're off the show. Oh. Okay, uh -huh. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Yeah. Yes, we have no bananas. And if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. Let that ruminate. Think mm, about it. I think I know that. And when we get back from the break, he's going to tell me what those three songs have in common. Okay? Okay. Yeah. See you in a minute. It's very exciting. Hello, and welcome back to What's for Dinner. I've just chopped up my basil to add to my soup, and to quicken the cooking time, you know what I did? I don't know. I put the soup stock in the microwave. That's excellent. That's a very good yes, idea. because I have to get on to my bocconcini salad, and also, I'm going to look in the fridge, see if there's something left over, maybe some leftover rice or something. Okay, Stripe Boy. Uh, but before you go away there, sir, ma'am, come here. Yes. I want to repeat the trivia question no. for you. Yeah, it's such an easy one, Kenny. You I'll can get this get one. It. What do these three songs have in common? I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Thank you very much. Yes, we have no bananas. And if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. Oh, please, Ken. Okay, please okay. Get this. Now, oh. what do I get if I get it right? <laughs> 
I think it's obvious. Cocktails for two. What? What do they have in common? Cocktails for two. That's the answer. No, it's not the it answer. It is the answer. No, the answer is their song titles with food or drink in them. Cocktails, Cocktails for two. That's one of the songs with a drink or food in the title. Oh, my God. It's Cooking with Half Wits. <laughs> oh, honey. I thought you were going to get that one. I thought you felt lucky today. I think I did get it. <laughs> That's some nice action there you've got happening. Well, you know, we, it happens in it the happens. kitchen. It happens. You know what? You were very close. Was I? No. No, you weren't, quite frankly, Shirley. You weren't close at all. Don't call me Shirley. My name is Ken. It's Ken. Mr. Ken, so I'm just chopping up my, um, my apples and my tofu and my vegetables in large chunks. Fine. Fine. And um, I'm going to, uh, to marinate it in my mm -hmm. marinade. And then we're going to skewer them and grill them on our indoor grill. So that's going to be... Oh, gosh. You know what? I just had an idea. What? You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm marching over because I'm thinking a bit ahead. You do, in this show, you are doing a lot of marching in that uniform. I'm strutting. Yeah. What do you think? And My mom had an outfit like that in 1960. Quite similar. Yeah. Did you wear it once or twice? Did, actually. It comes out on the national TV. I'm going to put in some uh, sugar into my marinade. Right. So the vegetables and the fruit will caramelize a bit when I barbecue them. You know what? That's a really good idea. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. So I'm, I'm chopping. I've got a lot of ingredients to chop. But, I mean, with it, you could have done this uh, prep the night before. You could chop your apples or your vegetables the night before. And when you come home to cook, it's done. It's done. It's done. I just want to walk through the steps very quickly about my soup. So we don't lose the viewer on the soup. <laughs> okay. Because <okay? laughs> it is riveting. It is riveting. Those beans. Okay. Okay. We're doing a white bean and chickpea soup. I started off by sauteing the onion and the garlic. And then I added in the soup stock. And to quicken the cooking time, oh. I microwaved the soup stock. Right. Added in my fresh herbs, which are basil and fresh parsley. And I'm adding in the white beans and some chickpeas. And then I'm going to let it cook. Add a bay leaf. Some, I've added in some red pepper, and then, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, no. What is, this is an epic. What this are you doing? This soup is an epic. You're going to put your beans in? Are they I'm in? I'm going to know. puree. The, the beans are in. Okay. I'm going to puree it, add some cream, and there you go. Okay, take it away. <laughs> I can after that. Nothing could follow that. Nothing. Well, I just wanted to make sure everyone understood what I was doing. Well, I think we all understand now, and it sounds really good. It is. It sounds absolutely delicious. I've made this before. I know you have. I'm the soup king. Queen. <laughs> I just did that to perk you up, because I know you like that joke. I like that joke. Yeah, I know you do. Excuse me. Whoa. Bless you. It's those neighbors. Um, okay. okay. You know what I feel like doing? Giving what? a tip. I feel like giving the tip of the day. I oh, feel would like... you? Yeah. Would you? Yeah, I'm, go I'm going to. Do it. I feel like it's about getting... skewers. Yeah, it's about skewers. Yeah. And, okay, that's an inch, right? About? Yeah. Okay. It says that you should position your skewers about half an inch apart when grilling to allow the food to cook properly. Because if it's rubbing up against each other, it's not going to cook whatever it's evenly. rubbing. Evenly. Yeah, it's that's not right. going to. It's not going to cook no, evenly. No, it's not. Nope. Is that a good tip? That's an well, it's excellent Well, it wasn't bad. Point. You know, when I go out for dinner. Yeah. This is one of my favorite appetizers, oh, bocconcini and uh, tomato salad. And it's very easy to make. That's a very cool thing. Simple. This is my sister's favorite thing she makes for every really? single dinner party she does. Well, at least it's not butternut squash soup. Who does that? My sister. That's the only recipe she knows. Is that her big recipe? Big recipe. How's that going with the man thing? Not very good, Mary Jane. What happened with that policeman? Oh, no. Didn't Why not? Out. Didn't work out. I'm not sure. You're not sure? Don't ask those questions. Okay, because he seemed like a good contender, quite yes. frankly. Well, I'm still looking. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm still Actually, looking. I might have somebody in mind. Get out. Once they get out of the joint, could that be possible we could set them up together? Oh, I don't know if Helen would go for that. Well, he's a nice guy. Well, you never know. He just got a bum rap, that's all. Look at this vegetable cornucopia. Whoa. Did you know that firm to tofu... Tofu is an excellent source of protein. Uh, protein. And the firmer your tofu, uh, the more protein it has, the more calcium, everything it has more of it's firmer. Wow. Yeah, mouthful. Did you know that? I think you might have. I think I did. Okay, I've got these vegetables marinating and I've got my skewers all ready, so I'm going to proceed to skewer, but I'm going to clean up first because I just, I, I want to, I feel tidy today. I want to be tidy. Well, you look very neat. I do, don't you, you think? You do. You look very neat. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. I'll put those in the sink for that cleaning lady who comes by once in a while. Yeah. And she can take care of that action. 
I'm going to clean my board. Do you think she does a good job? Truthfully? Yes, well, honestly. Okay, what do you well, think? what do you think? Ken? Not really. No, she was taking condiments out of the fridge. She was taking what? Condiments out oh, of the fridge. Okay. And she had your jacket on. Because the other, she wouldn't be finding in my house. You don't think? No. My house, neither. Um, okay, my skewers are soaking, and I'm going to proceed to skewer. After that last comment, I'm going to proceed to skewer. I'm going to put Please. that over there. Are we ever going to get on to this? Yes. Here we go. The viewers have been waiting for this. Tofu. We should have a drum roll oh, for this. Oh, my gosh. This is good. And then a nice big oyster mushroom. And I've got some beautiful yes. chunks of apple. Do that. Mm -hmm. And I've got some nice red pepper. And I've got some nice zucchini. And I've got some nice purple onion. <laughs> and i got some nice... I feel button it. mushrooms. You know what? I feel a tip coming on. Okay, I'm going to stand back. You could do this in advance in the morning or the night before. Didn't I say that? Did you? Yeah, I did. Uh-oh. Okay, uh-oh. So there, on the uh, well, indoor grill. Well, that tells you something. It does tell you something. Great minds think alike. Yeah, either that or you weren't listening. Okay, so we'll do another skewer. I like the firm tofu. I actually prefer it to the soft. Do you? To work with, it's a oh, lot yes. easier. I much prefer it firm. I do, too. It's just more malleable and easier to do. Yeah. Now, while Kenny's doing that, I'm just going to wander back and get the viewer mail. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. Dear yeah. Ken and Mary Jo, my name is Chrissy, and I'm 14 years old, and I love your show. It's the only one I watch. I have never missed a show. I was wondering if I could have some recipes, and if you have a book, I would love to buy one. Your number one fan, Chrissy McLean. Thanks a whole lot. What's for dinner is the best. Is that adorable? That is adorable. That's and, adorable. And I do have a book, Chrissy. Yes, he and does. And I was supposed to do the viewer mail. <laughs> Ken, that's not a good example for a 14-year-old. Should be a bit generous, hon. Giving. Giving. Yes. Try being giving. Okay, some onion, mm -hmm. some more tofu, a bit of mushroom. I have been working on this dish for a while. <laughs> I know. It looks magnificent. So these will probably take about 10 to 12 minutes on your indoor or outdoor barbecue. And these are going to be absolutely delicious, very low fat. And of course, if you didn't have the vegetables we mentioned, you can substitute and use whatever you've got sure. in your fridge. Would be delicious. Or whatever you like. Yeah. That's my favorite thing. Absolutely. I, obviously, I only cook things at home that I like. Yeah, that would make sense. Another piece of onion. The problem is I like everything. Do you really? You're quite uh, varied type varied. of dude. Varied. That's okay. why I have to watch my weight. I know, but you look great. Now, I've got three skewers on our indoor grill, and I'm going to save a little of the liquid to baste. And when we get back from the break, we're talking a low-fat, delicious meal mm. on what's for dinner. Hello, and welcome back to What's for Dinner. I've just pureed my white bean and chickpea soup. Look at that, Mary Jo. Kenny, I made fun of your beans, but it looks like yeah. a really yummy soup. And in goes the cream at the last minute. Excellent. But if you, it, here's a tip for you. Okay. If you didn't want to, you, you wouldn't have to add cream, but it really does give it that extra kick. Can I ask you a question? Would you like me to get you any uh, fresh herbs to garnish your soup? To garnish. Wait, to garnish. Would you like a fresh herb? How about some thyme? Or, would that be good? That'd be good. Okay, I'm marching back here. And okay. I'm going to give you some lovely fresh thyme. Got my little purse. Okay, but if you. you look over here, look at my brochettes. Please, can I have a comment on my skewers? Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. That's my supper right there. Are you going to have it? Apples and tofu. And I'm just brushing it in the final moments of grilling to what perfection. What did you do with your purse? My purse, I got it right here. Oh, thank you. Um, do you your time. A little There's bit of your time there. There we go. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. There we go. So we'll chop that up and we'll put it on the soup, the zupa. So that'll be good. And Ooh. at this time, because you say that, I like when you say that. Oh, yes. At this time, I'm going to remove my skewers from the grill. Where are my tongs? Here they are. Talking. Oh, talking. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Kenny, these look delicious. Don't you think? They do. Thank you. They do. And I must compliment you. <laughs> that was heartfelt. <laughs> okay. Here, I'm adding to my bocaccini and cheese. Now, here's a tip. If you wanted to make this completely vegetarian, you could replace the bocaccini cheese with something like a soya bean or tofu cheese. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's a good idea. I'm going to add in some balsamic vinegar to this. And then I'm going to uh, add some black 
ground pepper. That's, I think, the secret to a good um, there we go. crazy. Now, I've got some chopped parsley, parsley. and I'm going to put that on my skewers, like so. And I feel in quite a garnishing mood, so I'm going to strut to the fridge. Strut. And while I'm you're strutting, strutting your stuff, Yeah. we had some leftover rice. I added in some chopped or diced uh, red and yellow pepper, some green pepper, some chopped up carrots, and I'm going to take an orange and use the juice from half an orange, and that's going to be a wonderful side dish to this. Would you like some raisins in your salad? You know what? That'd be great. Is that a good idea? Yeah. Because I found some in the fridge, and I thought it would be a very nice accompaniment Perfect. to your rice salad. Perfect. Which is going to go well with our tofu skewers. Look at this. This is a beautiful low-fat dinner that we're making tonight. Should we recap very quickly? What did I do with that soup? It, whatever it looks delicious. You pureed it's it. It's white bean and chickpea, and I pureed it. We have our tofu skewers with some mushroom and apple and red pepper. We did bocconcini and cheese and some leftover rice we put together with some vegetables and orange juice. Let's say goodbye together. Wow, now. What's that for was dinner? a mouthful. That's the longest you've ever talked to. Take care. I kind of liked it. Take care. We'll see you the next time on What's for Dinner. Bye-bye.